Hello and welcome to Brandy's Poetry Corner, reading from the New Oxford Book of English Verse. Uh, as I said, this is, uh, I seem to have come to a 17th century place in this book. The play, the uh, building that I live in, I live in a flat in it, I don't live in the whole building, was written after, was built immediately after the Great Fire of London. And there are bits of this building that are said to have come from the ruins there so I felt I really ought to read this is by John Dryden who lived from 1631 to 1700 and it's called London after the great fire 1666 so here we are London after the great fire 1666 by John Dryden methinks already from this chimic flame I see a city of more precious mould Rich as the town which gives the Indies name, with silver paved and all divine with gold. Already, labouring with a mighty fate, she shakes the rubbish from her mounting brow, and seems to have renewed her charter's date, which heaven will to the death of time allow. More great than human now, and more august, new deified she from her fires does rise. Her widening streets on new foundations trust, an opening into larger parts she flies. Before, she, like some shepherdess, did show who sat to bathe her by the river's side, not answering to her fame, but rude and low, nor taught the beauteous arts of modern pride. Now, like a maiden queen, she will behold from her high turrets hourly suitors come. The east with incense and the west with gold will stand like suppliants to receive her doom. The silver Thames, her own domestic flood, shall bear her vessels like a sweeping train, and oft wind, as of his mistress proud, with longing eyes to meet her face again. The wealthy take us, and the wealthier rhine, the glory of their towns no more shall boast, and Seine, that would with Belgian rivers join, shall find her luster stained and traffic lost. The venturous merchant, who designed more far and touches on our hospitable shore, charmed with the splendour of this northern star, shall here unlaid him and depart no more. Thank you. What a wildly optimistic view of the rebuilding of London after the Great Fire. But there you are. Ah, it is. A, I do love London in its own funny way. For more poems read by me, look me up, Brandy Pearson, on YouTube. Thank you.